uh, we have three uh, dry field, uh, dry system. Uh, the, uh, they are wiping dry system, uh, which are uh, four inch and three inch. Uh, two, three dry system as uh, this is. Uh, we have main power, uh, main uh, water coming uh, from city to that uh, room and uh, the, uh, the spray to domestic uh, and to fire system. Here we have two main shot of valve which are uh, for backflow and here is backflow system and here here we have main uh, valve for three uh, dry system and here we have uh, another uh, wet system is going on. Uh, for a start drawing tree, at first because we have three uh, three system, at first we should uh, be sure uh, we, uh, we work uh, in one of them and the other other two is closed, the water is closed. So because of that, we close the water of these two to become sure it's not a problem for us in during the test and in, uh, already we called monitoring to put, on, put the system on test uh, just for uh, security and uh, also um, every uh, every auxiliary uh, system in panel is bypassed and also the drain everything is bypassed we can start uh, from uh, residual and static uh, water pressure we can measure the residual water with opening the dry uh, outline and measure the uh, the pressure, the pressure of water. Uh, I forgot about something uh, before uh, before doing every uh, water-based test. We have to show about the working compressor. We already tested; compressor is working well, and now we can uh, measure the. Uh, residual and static uh, water uh, pressure of water. For residual, we, uh, as I said, we, uh, we open the drop, uh, drain line and we measure the uh, uh, we, uh, we measure the water pressure gauge and then we close it and measure the static pressure. Uh, after that, uh, now it's, uh, it's time to uh, test shut off valve and the reason is sometimes the shut off, shut off valves uh, doesn't work well uh, because after uh, the main reason for testing is uh, uh, check, the inside, check inside the valve. So uh, we don't want to have any pressure, any water when we open the valve. So we have to check the sh main shut off valve for each uh, system. So because of, because of this, uh, it should, shouldn't have any leakage. So we close completely the shut off valve, main shut off valve for each system and open the drain. Uh, we shouldn't have any leakage after couple of seconds after opening the uh, drain uh, at, the, at the beginning is normal because of the, the water remaining the uh, pipe but um, it's not long uh, it should be a stop after a couple of seconds uh, when, when uh, we so pick up what, what is the indication that the shuttle valve is good uh, no water and then 
no water is and then gates should be it's, uh, gates should be dropped zero yeah gates should be dropped in the zero yeah uh, for uh, for uh, dry tree we have to test uh, with the 20 percent of uh, pressure uh, water pressure so uh, we don't want to trip the system in full power. So uh, open the valve just for 20% um, and then close uh, smoothly the drain. The reason is we don't want to uh, trick the clatter uh, when we uh, open the valve or close the drain. So we have now we have pressure behind the clapper and the uh, yes, 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 yes. main shot of valve is 20% uh, open. So it's ready to uh, make trip to this valve. The, uh, the functionality of trip is uh, when uh, the pressure uh, above the uh, clapper drop uh, the pressure of the water below uh, make uh, clapper open and the system is uh, the, uh, the water in the system is running up so if we drop the pressure uh, in the up or in the system we drop the pressure the clapper after after the the pressure point goes open. So, for that reason, we can uh, open that relief valve, that's, which is here. It is here. We can open it and uh, relieve, release the air and see what happened here. After releasing the air, the pressure goes down goes down until the compressor start again compressor is now is off because the pressure is good but after after releasing the air the compressor start start and that point is the cutting point so after this point we don't need compressor anymore so uh, we can turn it off and uh, at the security point we don't want to uh, go back the water in the air system we, we can uh, close the every uh, airline with that valve so uh, we, we can wait until the system three the system uh, three point is normally one fifth of one fifth of uh, uh, water pressure so if the pressure if the water pressure uh, is uh, 100 is now is close to 100 the, uh, the trip uh, the trip pressure of air should be around 20 now is 90 the pressure uh, trip should be around 15 so when the system trip we immediately close the valve, close the main uh, shut off valve, and uh, open the drain. Open the drain, and uh, now it's system trip. It's ready to uh, winterization uh, low point. System is trip, valve is trip, uh, and ready for cleaning the valve. So uh, uh, we can uh, open that uh, screw uh, and uh, uh, clean the clapper and then after cleaning and uh, washing that uh, we can reset it and, uh, uh, and uh, we can burn, uh, pour the water on it and see we, uh, we shouldn't have any water drop from uh, uh, bothering. Actually, before that, we can 
clo uh, we can uh, disconnect that boundary to see uh, what's going on um, inside boundary and uh, back of boundary. We can open it and see uh, there is no leakage of the water. If there is a leakage uh, that shows the clapper is not uh, exactly adjusted, we should try to adjust it or maybe need some fixing. Uh, if if it's no leak, leak, leak of water, we can uh, reset the uh, we can uh, close the door and uh, tie the bolt, and then uh, then uh, then uh, uh, turn on the compressor. When uh, at the ten at ten psi, we shouldn't have any air leakage here mm, but if we have we can cap it we can cap it until 30 psi uh, and then check it it's, if we, if it's uh, if we, if the air leakage is stopped it's good we can close the ball ball trip but if not we should readjust the valve readjust the clip of the valve okay uh, another uh, problem may be uh, effect during the uh, trip is the pressure pressure switch. That's the alarm switch, alarm pressure switch. That's the, the uh, operation of the, this switch is when the uh, system trip or a real fire. Uh, in real fire or testing. Uh, the pressure uh, trip that uh, trip that uh, trip that switch. So uh, we have alarm in control panel. Uh, but sometimes the pressure trap behind that uh, uh, that uh, switch and cannot release. So uh, after uh, tripping, we still have alarm. So we can uh, we can open that uh, uh, valve or somewhere else to release that pressure and, and then we can restart reset the panel. Uh, mm, when everything is good, uh, we can restore the water in the system. But here we have three systems. It's parallel together. Uh, it's better to uh, do for everyone before uh, before open the main shot of valve for each one. So in this case, we go for other one and make three, and then other one and make three, and then restore the water. So here we want to restore the water. In this case. Uh, at first, we uh, we open the drain, which is already open, and uh, uh, restore the water a little bit, just for run, just until the water running, and then close the uh, close the drain. We can close it when we see the pressure goes up. Uh, water pressure goes up close it completely and open not completely just to make sure no leakage uh, for air and no leakage for uh, water after a while we can open it completely but before opening that we have to uh, drain all all low points so this uh, uh, the water restore um, act after draining all the 